today we're gonna talk about oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about bugs. Let's see. No, no bugs there. Today we're gonna talk about Should be something. You know, I'm just looking for some bugs so I can show them to you so we can talk about them. Is it really that hard for some bugs, the random decomposers, to be there for me to talk to you about them? Hello friends, it's the rainy season, which means that we got bugs. We got bugs that grow in stagnant water, like mosquitoes that want to attack you and not be nice. We got bugs that want to eat all the vegetation. They want to help break down and biodegrade stuff. Those are the bugs, generally, that we don't like in the garden. Now, I want to admit something. I get very frustrated when my garden gets eaten and when there's stuff missing or when there's such big holes. Such big holes in my salad greens that I can't eat them. But I, I don't get mad at the bugs. Because ultimately, in my opinion, they're, they're just doing the job, right? Here's a funny example of some pests. So there was these mullein that were growing. I loved them. And then they started looking kind of yucky and they died down and I had to chop them down and after I chopped them down I was getting in there and what did I find did you see it these are the larvae of the moths that I'm finding all over my garden the larvae um, hatch inside the mullein clusters and eat them from the inside and they gradually they, they form a casing and they're, they're, they're going to pupa stage deep inside the mullein flowers here what i was finding were the larvae the, the little caterpillar guys the little maggoty looking things all over my beautiful flowers And the big problem is <laughs> those little ugly maggots make pretty little moths. It's so pretty watching the moths fly around, right? And it's cool with all of the flowers watching the different type of pollinators. Some of them are flies. We don't like flies. <clears throat> and some of them like those moths. When they're in their larval stage, they eat a lot of stuff. <laughs> the only pest that I complain about as far as things that are not mammals or birds, are the slugs, mollusks. Um, but they're not, they're not terrible. Most of the time, these bugs, all they're trying to do is help everything decompose. Like the bugs and bacteria in life, those are things they do. They take things that are not well, plants that are not well, sometimes people are not well, and they consume them. 
make them into things that are more usable. A rotting corpse of a slug on the sidewalk is useless to my plants. It is useless to my garden. The slugs themselves, I guess, have a purpose because they do break down that stuff and make it accessible. Which means that even the stuff that eats the middle of my carrots and makes them all slimy and nasty, even they are doing something good. And it's kind of like we're all put here for a job. Why should we be eating all them for just doing theirs? Unless they're eating your food. Like I said, with that carrot. With my salad greens. You know, if, if you're going to eat my food, then I'm not going to be happy with you. Which is why, especially in early spring when I'm so dependent on just the salad greens that are growing, I'm going through and I'm like flicking slugs off of my entire garden. Because I don't want that. But, maybe... Sometimes, a lot of times, you can leave those pests in place and their predators will come. A good example is if you, if you keep plucking aphids off your plants, you're not going to get the little ladybugs spawn that are going to eat them. God has a plan, a purpose, a way for all this to happen. And sometimes you'll get an invasive species from the other side of the world that didn't evolve alongside your own. And sometimes you'll get an invasive species from the other side of the world that didn't evolve alongside your particular fauna. And sometimes they, they need to be taken care of. But if you gave them enough time, their, a solution will arise. This planet has been functioning without us maintaining it as this, like, aggressive, industrial people. This planet has been functioning fairly well for hundreds of millions of years. I think it'll keep going on without our intervention if we would just stop this here. That's my soapbox. Thanks for coming along. I hope that your garden does wonders for the end of the season. I hope that you're doing wonders with all your garden experience. God bless you. God bless you, brother. Peace out, Mr. Travis.